In this how-to guide, we're going to show how to create a report that uses Cassandra as a data source. To do this, we're going to use Pentaho data integration to read data from Cassandra and pass it to our reporting tool. So I'm going to create a new transformation. I'm going to drag in our Cassandra input step. Double click to edit the properties. Select the key space. We're dealing with the demo data, uh, dealing with page successions, and we're just going to select every URL where we're dealing with a landing page on the website. I'm going to say OK, and we can preview the data that's coming back. And we'll see that we have information in the data about the URLs on the website that are landing pages for our visitors and how often those pages were accessed. Next, we're going to uh, sort the data. We want this in descending order for our report. I don't have the ability in CQL to sort the data, so I'm going to drag in a sort step, connect the two elements together, double click to edit the properties. We're going to sort on the count in descending order. So I can now preview this step. And we'll see that now we have the same data as we did before, but now it's sorted into descending order by the count. This is the data that we're going to use for a report that lists the top landing pages for this website. So the first thing we need to do is to save our transformation. I'm going to call it top landing pages. Okay. Now we can switch over to our report designer. We're now in Pentaho's report designer. We're going to use the report wizard to create this report. Uh, we can either launch it from the dialog here or we can say file new report wizard. We can select a template. I'm just going to go with the default. Now we need to add a new data source that is the data integration transformation we created. So we're going to add a new data source here called landing pages and I'm going to browse to the top landing pages transformation that we just created um, and I can preview the different steps in the transformation and this is the data that we saw earlier. So I'm going to say OK here and I'm going to click on landing pages and this is what we're going to use for our report. So we click on next and now we get to lay out the report. The only ones we really need here are next URL and the count. So we've got two columns in this report. We click on next and we can format these. So next URL I'm going to call landing page. In the count I'm going to specify a data format and I'm also going to elect to have um, total applied on that column. Okay, so we're done with the wizard and we can click on finish. This is our generated report. I can click on the preview button here and it will preview the report for me. Uh, we'll see that we haven't, uh, we haven't changed the titles or subtitles yet, but we do have in descending order the landing pages and the counts. So let's just go back and change, double click on the report title. I'm going to call this top landing pages. Subtitle is going to be in descending order, subtitle 2 I'm just going to get rid of. We can now preview again and we'll see that we've got the, the titles that we want. We can skip through the pages of the report and when we get to the end we can scroll down and see that we have the total that we asked for uh, of all of the counts. If I'm happy with the preview I can run the report. I'll choose PDF and it now generates PDF output of the report with the title, subtitles, uh, the columns of sorting, etc. that I want in my report. I can run my report to different output types or I can save my report so that I can run it again in the future uh, anytime that I want to. That was a quick video guide on how to create a report that uses data from Cassandra as its data source.